Girl, whose scalp you got on today? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am back with somebody else's gorgeous red hair and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. How are y'all? I'm listening, you good? Tell me down below. I'm doing great. We have this gorgeous wig on my head and I am in love with her. But before we get into it, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, finally, I'm having another glass of grape juice. <laughs> it's grape juice with a ferment. Y'all tell me what you're drinking down below. Also, while you're doing that, while you down there, can you also hit subscribe and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to y'all every single week with brand new scalps, okay? I'm trying to figure out, like, do y'all want to see them or not? <laughs> if you do, then join the family. We're gonna come, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about wigs, we're gonna talk about the stuff, we're gonna do vlogs. All that fun stuff. Now, let's go ahead and get into the hair. I want to say thank you to Julia Hair for providing... Pro I only had two sips. I want to say thank you to Julia Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Now, let me tell y'all. You know my top two types of wig are kinky curly and kinky straight. And if you add color to it, oh, like look at this texture. Y'all see the crinkles y'all know if you've been here my wig reviews are very in-depth i'm going to show you from beginning to end what this wig looks like so we're going to start off from when she in the box from conception <laughs> so i'm going to show you everything that i did to apply this wig what she looked like coming out of the box all that other stuff how she develops into this beautiful thing that's on my head right now it looks amazing like look at the hairline super pretty melted in it's giving very much your hair Maybe she's born with it with a little hair dye. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna see everything I did beginning to end, all, and you wanna get more details on this unit, please keep on watching, and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and the coupon code. Oh my God, it's in my eye. Okay, y'all, let's get started with applying this beautiful wig. Uh-oh, let me let the girls pass. Oops. We hope all is well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Of course, I'm drinking my green tea. Y'all know I love I love me some green tea. Now, let's go ahead and get into applying this wig. First, before I get into the details on this wig, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss on my base because my hair is looking a fool right now and I just feel like I need to cover it up with something. I do not do the ball cap method. I like to do a variation, a um, rigged ball cap method. I use the wig grip that I get from Amazon. A wig grip basically keeps uh, a wig on your head without sliding back. I have flat back of the head syndrome. So I be needing something to help me keep the wigs on my head and get them from popping off my head and hopping on somebody else's head. So is this a, girl this wig cap is holy, holy, holy girl, girl. So we're gonna put on a wig cap on top of it. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna use this uh, Ruby Kisses palette that I had back there. And I'm just gonna, use the deepest color and I'm just gonna kind of color in the wig cap just a little bit. We can go ahead and get into the details on this beautiful wig. The Julia hair wig comes in the Julia hair box. Of course, inside of your box you receive your wig but you also receive gifts. Let me show you the gifts that you receive. Wig storage bags. This is a wig band. It's to melt down the lace. Another one of these brushes. I have another wig band so we have two of those. We got a bonnet. Girl, the lashes that keep lashing. So those are all of the gifts that we received inside of our Julia hair box. Also, you receive your wig. The wig's the most important part. This is a wig that we received. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. So this wig is the 13 by four lace frontal auburn brown kinky straight wig. Not me peeking from behind the wig. <laughs> It's in the color 33B. It is 150% density and it is 22 inches long. When I tell you this hair is soft, girl, it is 
soft. Inside of the cap of this wig, it has three combs and adjustable straps in the back, so you're able to adjust it to make it a little bit smaller if you got a pea head like me. The wig does come slightly pre-plucked. Like it's slightly pre-plucked, and the knots, the knots are about the same color as the hair, which depending on your skin tone, it can act as pre-bleached or not, so it all depends. So. For me, I need to bleach the knots a little bit more because my skin tone. Is there a mosquito in my house? Cause I keep getting like big. There's a stranger in my house. So I did bleach the knots on this wig. I like to show y'all what the knots look like before and after bleaching. Now these, I bleached for a short, short period of time cause I was rushing. So this is what it looks like after I have bleached the knots. I wouldn't say it's a huge difference if you don't want to bleach the knots. I don't think you really have to because they're not really black. There's a couple of black pieces in there, but not like that. Why am I going on about bleaching knots? I am passionate. I need to be passionate about chapstick, but I'm passionate about bleaching knots. Now let's go ahead and get into applying this wig. So let's go ahead and see what this wig looks like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at this hair. Look at this color, it is divine. As you can see, the parting space is beautiful. The knots have been bleached, so it looks really, really nice. As for the hairline, I think it can take a little bit of pluckation, but just a little bit of pluckation. So, only need, like I said, a little bit of pluckation, because as you can see, it's a little bit thinner in the front, but I just need it to be like a little bit more thin, so. I like to do it like this. I pluck, I know that some girls go like that, but it just doesn't work for me to go that way. I like to pluck like going towards the face. So I'm gonna take the tweezers, these tweezers. Let me get some chapstick. My tweezers from Amazon. I'm gonna take these tweezers and I'm just gonna pull at the hair. The hair is coming out of the, the hair is plucking very easily. Some hair doesn't really pluck, but this plucks very easily. Oh, I also need to mention that these knots are in the front are single knotted, which is really good because it looks thinner than the double knots, double knots. Mm. Wigs that have like double knots in the front are um, a little bit more difficult to pluck because it has like two strands of hair and it's knotted around and it looks like real thick or whatever. I don't know. Am I explaining that right? I don't know. When I'm plucking, I go all the way across the hairline and I go from back forwards. So after I do that one backwards, I'm going to take another sliver another slice part it again and get a little bit closer to the front i take i part away less hair and then i pluck again this way i stop myself from giving myself bald spots because i've given myself a bald spot before and it's embarrassing are you not embarrassed yes i am okay so we're gonna keep plucking all the way across the hairline. Also keep in mind, the more that you pluck your wig, the less wear you get out of your wig. You get less life out of your wig the more you pluck. Because when you're plucking, you're pulling hair out. Eventually lace wigs go bald. So if you wanna increase the longevity of your wig, plus pluck less. Let's go ahead and keep plucking. I'm gonna make her look real, 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 realistica in the front. I'm gonna keep plucking all the way across the hairline just to make it look a little bit more realistic and then I'll be back. I'm gonna concentrate a little bit in this area because that's where my hair is, my natural hairline is naturally thinner. And up top, just to make sure it's not too thick up there.
The hairline has been plucked, as you can see. She looks really, really good. Next, we need to go ahead and flatten the hairline. Like I said, I think I, think I wanna do a middle part. We are going to flatten with the middle part in mind, so. When I flatten the hairline, I use two things. I use a mousse and a hot comb. I don't know why I forgot what a hot comb was. And I also use a wax stick, sometimes, depending on how stubborn the flyaways are. Let me pull y'all in so y'all can see what I'm talking about. See what I'm talking about. I like to get up close and personal with the gross. Y'all see that? It looks really good. So the mousse that I like to use is the Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Flyaway and Wrap Mousse. So this is it. Hold on right here. Right here, I love to use it just on the hairline. And then we're gonna hit it up with the blow dryer and a hot comb, girl. I got all the, all the tools. This mousse literally smells like Old Spice, like literally. And we love that for us. You can just use a wax stick, but for me, I have found that the mousse just kinda like really redirects the hair and helps it look like a little bit more flat. You know what I'm saying? I've added the mousse to the hairline and what we're gonna do next is blow dry this hairline down. Y'all know I just got real fancy because I got a gift. I was gifted a Dyson from my girls. Okay, so one of the attachments that I really, really like to use with my Dyson is the, um, the flyaway tamer um connection so i love using this so in order to flatten your hairline you can either just lay it down with a rapid strip which was my favorite thing to do after adding the mousse and then let it sit or you can blow dry it and then they'll flatten the hairline the same way but because we're in a rush we're going to use the tool that the girls bought for us to blow dry and this dyson blow dryer really does a great job or you can use a regular blow dryer with like uh, some sort of flattening attachment, a comb, and kind of get into it as well. Oh, actually, that's a really good idea. Yes, I just now thought through that myself. I'm gonna use a comb. Let's do it. I'm gonna take this comb. I hope it doesn't melt, but we'll see. Turn this on and blow dry it backwards. Please don't fly off my head. This thing is powerful. think about that blow dryer it'd be so hot I don't be paying attention ow what is burning my ear is it the lace how does the lace <laughs> okay so y'all see how flat that hairline is Whew. just with a little bit of mousse a mousse just to get it going and then I'm sure you can do it with a blow dryer just flatten it itself but I love the extra flatness that it gives so now that that's done we can that looks so good we're gonna do a middle part, but if you do a side part, you can't flip to a middle part because your middle part be looking like that. So I love doing middle parts because of versatility. If I change my mind, then change my mind. So we're gonna go ahead and establish our part because we about to get into the flat ironing situation. Oh no, before we complete flattening the hairline, I need to tint the lace. I've ranted and raved many times about this lace tint. This lace tint is in the color medium brown. The only thing about this lace tint is that she's very, very, very messy. The reason why I like to use lace tint is it gets, it makes sure the lace can actually melt into my skin without it looking like, girl, whose scalp you got on today? <laughs> I'm gonna spray the lace tint onto the lace. You see what it looks like before. I'll show you what it looks like after, but this is the lace before. And I'm just gonna go spray it off to the side because this stuff is so messy. My computer's over here, everything's over here. I'm not playing with that. So I'm gonna go spray it off to the side. Then I'm going to blow dry it on high and warm to set it and then forget it. Then we can get into flattening the hairline, applying the wig, styling the hair. <laughs> get into that finish. Look. So let me go ahead and spray it and then I'll go blow dry it. So 
So I've added the lace tint. Now I added some dark lace tint, like the dark tint, darker tint, and it made it a little bit, I don't know if that was the right skin tone for me, but we'll see if it ends up working out. If, if it don't, girl, worse is happening, I fixed it. Or I didn't, and I still thought I was cute, so. And we're gonna go ahead and use the ZLA Hairline Master wax stick now I'm not really a wax stick girl like that but for cases of this wig I do want the hairline just to be a little bit slicker the wax stick allows the hair to be a bit more malleable and I like that for my wig so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wax stick and Wax it backwards. As for the hair in between, I also like to get in between there just a tad bit, but not too much because it makes the hair oily and I like real bouncy hair, but we're just gonna get in between some of this hair a little bit. So I'm gonna take my Andis hot comb and I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten the hair backwards, okay? Away from the face. I like doing all of this before I apply the wig because I feel like then I could just put the wig on and go. Let's go ahead and hot comb the hairline, get it real flat looking, and then we'll be back to cut off the lace and apply the wig, which I'm super excited about. flatten the hairline do y'all see the difference between <clears throat> oh <laughs> but can you see the difference between when I didn't flatten the hairline and now the flattened hairline two completely different hairlines baby I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace on this wig so let me just pull this let me pull this hair back and we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace oh I'm so excited girl I'm so excited so, in order for me to cut this lace, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Annie shears. Y'all know I be using these shears, shears for everything. I love my Annie shears. It really cuts lace really, really well. And when I cut my lace, I just get really close. And I cut zigzag across the hairline so it looks more realistic. So, let's do our thing. Cut this lace down. Then we get to apply the wig and style it. I'm so excited to style this hair because Kinky straight hair styles the best. It just, ooh, looks amazing. So let's go ahead and get started with doing that. Next, we need to go ahead and apply the wig. I'm a little bit concerned though. And I wonder if I should stop here and remove this lace tint. I, it's not really matching my skin tone. It's not warm. But I'm gonna keep going. Oh, is that lace tint on my forehead? Oh, it is. Baby, it's kind of rubbing off a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply the wig. When I apply my wig, I like to use one product and one product only. My wig dealer gel. This is the Wig Dealer Touch Up Lace Bonding Gel. I have their spray and I also have their wig bonding gel. And let me tell you, this gel is everything. So I like to take the gel and apply it straight to my forehead, then apply the lace. The great thing about this lace bonding gel is that it has a silicone tip, so I can just go ahead and lay it, put it on the hairline, 
and then just lay the wig down. Looks so good, looks amazing, and we love it. You're doing great, sweetie. So we, the gel comes out like this. Y'all see that? Ooh. What I do is I take it and I apply it to the forehead. Yeah, there's lace tint. Maybe some will get on my wig cap. So I apply it straight to the forehead. You can go straight across like this, but I like going this way because there's like teeny tiny forehead hairs that I like to brush backwards as well. So we've added the gel and I'm just going to take my Dyson. I'm gonna take my blow dryer and blow dry it on cool for a couple of seconds and then we'll apply the wig. Baby, that blew my lashes, like. Does my forehead look too small? Do I need to pull this back some? Yeah. Do my forehead look small? I melted the hairline. It looked a little bit, I um put too much lace tint on her. So the scalp was blending to the hair, which is it's giving me cap. But hopefully, once I melt this hairline down, it'll I'll get more detail in it. You see what I'm saying? So I've already separated out the baby hairs, and all I need to do is melt them down. So I'm gonna cut the baby hair. 
And I like short, and I like short baby hairs. I like for my baby hairs to look real, like really realistic. So I'm gonna take, where's my baby hair brush? Dang it. I'm gonna take my crispy baby hair brush and some gel. What gel am I gonna use today? Same gel I always use. I'm gonna use the Got To Be Glue gel and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down these baby hairs, real nice like. So I'm just gonna lay down the baby hair like this and then flip it backwards and I also like to just blend the baby hairs into the other hairs and kind of swoop them back into it you see what I'm saying I'm not a big like thick baby hairs girl I like to make it look like a hairline like a little bit you see that oh that's a perfect baby hair, y'all see it? I wish I could see it, my scalp wasn't so. Girl, it would look so good. But I'm gonna do the same thing to all four baby hairs. So I'm gonna cut down this baby hair. And then I'm gonna take the gel and lay it down. Hopefully it's not too long. I don't like long side baby hairs, so let's see. I definitely could have not tinted my lace like this, <laughs> but I did and we can't fix it. At least I hope. Okay, so this side is done. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. Oh girl, that forehead is so sharp. That is the girl. <laughs> my forehead looked like I dipped my face. It looked like I dipped my face in a grease, baby. Mm. Let's go ahead and do this side okay y'all it don't look good. it's not looking good but i'm gonna fix it i promise i promise we'll fix it Okay, y'all, so we've done the hairline. It's flattened. It looks, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm working on it. We'll see what it looks like afterwards. I feel like I need to add some makeup. This thing is making things sound weird. Next, we are going to let the hair down and I need to do a little bit of trimation on the situation because I feel like the hair, the hair is so pretty. Y'all see this? It's giving Ariel. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim it a little bit. It just needs a little bit of trimming. So, see the ends of the hair, they're just a little bit uneven, kind of fried, and I want the hair to look like a tad bit healthier. So trimming the ends always makes it look a lot better, like a little blunt. So we're gonna cut off like maybe two inches to bring it down to 20 inches. So, these are the ends, y'all see that? No ma'am, we're not doing that. So what I like to do is just chop off the ends, bring it together. Y'all, I know this is not how you're supposed to cut hair, but what y'all gonna do about it? <laughs> so I'm gonna cut into it as well. Like, I feel like that's how you make it look professional. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see. Woo! I don't know why I'm so excited about that. It doesn't even look that good. <laughs> Let's see, this part, I need just a little angled situation. Y'all see the ends here? No, no, no. So I part it in like a, what do you call this? Like an A shape? I got on a bodysuit and bodysuits sometimes hurt. Like, do they ever hurt y'all? I mean, take my comb, comb it out, and I'm just gonna angle it downwards, like, like I'll turn it all the way down and then cut. Oh girl, I'm not even, 
Uh, <laughs> that don't really do much, but it did something. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. This way. Cut. I don't even think this is even, y'all. I'm just like making this up. Y'all know how I be making stuff up. That's kind of even though. Ooh, I'm lying. Okay, so that's cut. And I'm just gonna cut downwards just a little bit. Just to get like the angle right. This is, not, I'm supposed to, I'm not supposed to do this. Like I really am not. Y'all don't listen to me. I don't even know what I'm doing, so. Okay, so we're just gonna angle downwards starting from here. Ooh. We did it! Okay, let's do the same thing on this side and then we're done. <laughs> angle downwards. I'm I had to go with that construction again. Okay, let's go ahead. What is all this with my hands? <sighs> so next we're gonna go ahead and blow dry the hair and get it a little bit more straightened. I'm gonna try and get some of these. Uh, Y'all see, since this is kinky straight hair, you have some of the crimps right here. We're gonna try and straighten those out before we style and curl the hair. So let's get into it. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna reveal this hairline. I've already, I've cut the hair and kind of blow dried it. It blow dries fairly well. Now some of the crinkles, the whoop, oh my God. Happy, oh, she just wanted to be on camera. I don't even, sis just really just jumped in front of me. So, um, this wig blow dried fairly well. As you can see some of the, like the little, crinkles in it came out some but a little bit of crinkle is good for me because i do like the look of it so let me okay let's take it off oh girl it's stuck ew ew Ooh. oh this is a lot better oh i cut the baby hairs on this side a little bit too short so that looked crazy but I think it looks a lot better. I feel like it looks good, but the lace, y'all see, it's a little bit too deep. You know, it's not looking like as scalpy as I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Bobbi Brown foundation stick. This is in the color Walnut Skin. This is my contour color. I use this as a contour as well, but I like to take a little angle brush. This is like an eyebrow brush. It came in the same eyebrow kit that I got my tweezers from. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to kind of blend in and make this lace like stand out a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna make the part stand out just a bit. Y'all see how much of a difference I made? Yes, ma'am. We just need a little, see a little part. I did too much of, of that tinting. I did way too much, but doesn't mean we can't fix it. Okay, so I'm going over the lace just to make it stand up. That is blending so beautifully. Look at the difference. Look at the right side, look at the left side. 
So I'm just gonna go through and kind of like make it look a lot more skin-like just by going through like where the parts are and blend it in. And my wig cap, once again, is sticking out and telling all my business. So I'm just gonna make that blend as well. Look at the right side and look at the left side. The right side looks cloudy. It just don't look like scalp. And the left side is giving very much scalp. So I'm gonna continue to do that all the way across the hairline. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and curl the hair. Let me show y'all what we're gonna curl the hair with. I was gonna use the rope curlers, but that's gonna take too long. I wanna see if this hair can actually hold a curl. Kinky straight hair usually be fighting heat curls. So. We'll see if it works this time, but I'm gonna use my Chi Spinning Curl to curl the hair. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me go ahead and finish making this lace look more realistic. Oh, I'm so excited, look at that. This is one of the best tools I ever bought because I don't have to worry about curling my hair, it does it for me. Because it's a uh, kinky straight, I don't think it's gonna take that long to curl it. So I'm gonna work in sections, y'all know like I do, but we're just gonna curl it um, away from the face. Should I do, I'm gonna do away, I think I'm gonna do both ways, towards the face and away from the face. Um, but at the top, I'm gonna go away from the face. That's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so now we're gonna curl the hair, take the curler, Boom. And we're just gonna go ahead and let it curl until it beats. It's on the 19 second, how long it holds. Let's see. Ooh, that curl is hot, baby, hot daddy. Okay, so to get the curls to last, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Pantene air spray, and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of it. There we go. We're gonna keep going till we get to the top, oops, let's keep going. What are we talking, y'all see this? Look, the wig always looks better when I put on a little bit of makeup, especially when I mess up the lace tint. Like y'all can see I messed it up right there, ooh. I definitely messed it up right here. 
But y'all, this is the finished look. I definitely messed up on the sides a little bit, but that's okay because you ain't gonna be able to see it anyway. But up front, when you look at her, so cute. This is bothering me. Do y'all see how stunning this look is? So pretty. The red, like look at it. Look at these curls, they're so va va boom. They're very pretty. This is very much a summer color. I'm not saying we're heading in the fall, cause we're not. We're not. Let me show y'all the hairline. I'm avoiding the hairline cause I messed it up. We always gotta speak truth to power. We gotta lick them, stick them forehead. <laughs> I left the gel up there. Girl, I was being lazy. Don't do what I did. Either way, I know how to apply the weave because it looks so Good, and we didn't do the ball cap method, and you can't tell. Now, let's look at the back. This is what it looks like from the side, and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like from the back. Oh no, I'm over here shaking it behind the chair. Y'all can't even see nothing. Can you, can you see? Can you see? I'll be over here. Oh, there we go. Just look. Okay, can you see from here? Ew. <laughs> baby that's what it looks like in the back in the front this is what the hair looks like i did use hairspray to hold the curls and i noticed that the curls did fall so without hairspray i don't think it will hold a curl gotta be honest with you i don't think it would the hair is stunning i love it y'all tell me what you think down below do you like this hair color girl i was about to roll up out of here without giving y'all coupon code why am i talking with my hands so much i think it's because i got press on <laughs> if you are interested in this unit I will leave a coupon code for this unit down below. You're able to get 25% off your wig purchase. I said 25% friend, 25% off your wig purchase. I'll leave the coupon code down below in the description box. Girl, go ahead and grab it, put it in your purse, put it in your pocketbook and roll on out the door so you can go ahead and get this wig. Anyways, thank you to Julia Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And again, thank you for being here. Like, just thank you. I have to thank you every single time. Thank you. Anyways, I love you. Bye.